And baby says it's gonna pop out soon. Can you say hi? Hi. What are we gonna do with baby sister? Some milk and some milk. You're gonna give her milk? Yeah. What else? And, and sunscreen. And sunscreen? Yes, sunscreen. Oh. Say hi, Gray. Hi. Did you ask me a question? Or is it my turn? I asked you a question. Okay, so is it my turn? Yes. Gray and I are playing Guess Who. I'm closing in on who his person is. He still has a couple more people to guess, but I'm, he's kind of distracted. I have a show going on right now. Good morning, you guys. It is Sunday morning. We're just kind of taking it easy and chilling this morning. Isn't he sleeping in? So I have a show on for the boys. We were listening to Disney songs earlier, <clears throat> having breakfast, and then they wanted to watch a little show. So I find that I don't usually put on the TV too much during the week because in the mornings we're taking Gray to school and Porter and I are out running errands. And then in the afternoon we're either outside if it's warm enough or we're playing in the basement. So I find that I, on weekends, like obviously we don't have things to do in the morning. Sometimes we do, but most of the time we don't. And so when it's kind of chill and not much going on, we just kind of take it easy in the mornings and watch a little bit of a show and try to keep it quiet while Anthony's sleeping. But I just picked up the camera because it's been a long time since I vlogged. There's been things going on here and there during the week, but nothing like, I don't know, exciting. Nothing like that could bring a whole vlog out. So we're just gonna, I don't know, vlog here and there of our day. We don't have too much going on today. Anthony needs to get a haircut. I need to go pee pee. Okay, let's go pee pee, come on. Porter needs to go pee pee. We're still doing potty training. I thought I would give an update on how that's going. Let me help him first and then I'll talk to you guys. Okay, Porter peed. Update on potty training. It's kind of at a standstill right now. We've been working on this for a little shy of two months now. And where we're at right now is if Porter is naked, he does fine. He'll pee on the potty, he'll poop on the potty, he goes on his own. We remind him every now and then, but mostly like he goes on his own and he's fine. It's once we put anything on him that it's iffy. So I'm trying to put undies on him more often. He really just prefers to be naked, which is fine, but then he doesn't learn like how to go to the bathroom with, with underwear and pants on. So I've been trying to put him in underwear or pants. <clears throat> if we go out, I usually put a pull-up on him. Sometimes he'll go in the potty. Sometimes he won't. Usually if he has a pull-up on, like I have to be the one to prompt him to go. He doesn't just go on his own. And that's kind of the same with undies and pants. I have to prompt him. He does not prompt himself. Also, the problem with underwear and pants is he does not know how to pull his underwear down and pull them back up and he also does not wait long enough so he'll just start peeing before his underwear is like fully down and then it gets all over so we're working on it he's like halfway there maybe so I don't remember having problems with like Grayson figuring out how to like pull up and down his pants but <clears throat> yeah so that's kind of where we are with Porter he's basically there but we're still working out some kinks but he really only wears a diaper for nap time and bedtime other than that he's naked in underwear or for going out he's in pull-ups so it's pretty good saving a little bit of money on diaper wise i guess because we only do two a day now and then pull-ups are here and there if we're going out uh, we did go to my parents house last weekend for like a dinner and I put him in underwear and just brought like an extra pair of underwear and pants and he didn't have an accident. We were there for like two and a half, almost three hours and he didn't have an accident the whole time. And he went pee like twice, one or two times. I don't know. 
it's hit and miss but we're still working on it is basically what i'm saying how i'm doing i'm fine i'm about to be 36 weeks this week i had a doctor's appointment on monday i didn't vlog it at all because it was so boring nothing happened my next appointment is a week from tomorrow and they'll start to check me to see if i'm dilating or not which I really hope I am because I want this baby out. I went to the store and bought dates. I don't know if you guys can see that. They're nasty. I don't know if you can see, like, they're huge. They basically taste like really big raisins, which I used to love raisins as a kid. But I'm such a texture person. They're just really not my favorite. You're supposed to have six dates a day. <laughs> Um, towards the end of your pregnancy and it's not like really to put you into labor but more to like soften your cervix and like get your body ready for labor I'm just doing one a day I mean it's better than nothing so I've been doing that um, I need to start walking more and supposedly there's a Starbucks drink that like puts people into labor so I was gonna try that out once we got a little closer I guess it's got like raspberry leaf tea in it or whatever, which is just like dates, like just supposed to like prepare your body for labor, not so much like put it into labor. So doing little things here and there, trying to get ready. I've got my hospital bag packed. We're still working on a name. We're pretty sure we have a first name. We're just working on a middle name now. We really need to figure that out. Grayson had spirit week this past week at school each day was a different theme day and they were celebrating like dr seuss week because it was like dr seuss's birthday a couple days ago so he had like red, wear red or blue day wacky wednesday so i had him wear his clothes backwards which he loved and he wore shoes on like he wore um different shoes on each foot which he loved he thought that was so fun and then there was wear hat day which he loved he loves wearing hats he always has and silly sock day which we actually had silly socks we had socks that had tacos on them so he is having so much fun at preschool um spring break is coming up soon we don't really have much planned because we're waiting for me to have this baby Maybe when he's on spring break is when we'll have the baby. I don't know. I guess we'll see. That's at the end of March. So he's doing well. Porter's with the potty training. Anthony, like I said, he's going to go get a haircut today. And then it's supposed to be pretty nice out, like low 50s, which in some places people would say that's freezing. And some people they would say like that's so warm. <laughs> it's like... I usually have the rule, like, if it's 50 or up, I'll go outside. <laughs> and it's going to be sunny, so the sun makes a big difference, too. So I think after nap time, like, we'll go and walk, because I need to be walking. I need to try to get this baby out. We'll walk and go to a park, maybe. There's, like, three different parks, four different parks in our neighborhood, so lots to choose from. I think that's what we're gonna do today so we don't really have too much on our list last weekend i feel like we were so busy i got my hair cut and we went and saw friends i had to pick up my siblings from the airport and then we had like family dinner so this weekend is a little more chill yesterday i went shopping with my mom and sisters we were looking for spring stuff and really didn't find anything we went to like target meyer kirkland's just I mean, they had stuff here and there, but nothing, like, crazy. Yeah, that was kind of it. That was, like, our big outing. I took Gray, and he had so much fun. So, yeah, I'll just vlog here and there. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just kind of from here on out, just kind of chill. The boys are going to Anthony's parents' house um, starting Thursday through Sunday next week. Anthony's mom's a teacher, and so she's on spring break this next week. And so she wanted to take the boys for a couple days. So that'll be nice. Anthony and I will have a couple days to ourselves. We'll do date night. And we will hopefully um, like get things ready for a baby. I think that's what I should do next weekend is like set up the pack and play. Because that's where like I have a insert where I can like do a diaper changing station. So I should set that up and hopefully we can change up the fans upstairs because we won't have like kids all around us we can actually like get it done and uh, we need to set up like the bassinet and stuff like that 
So I'm hoping to be productive while the kids are gone next weekend, but then also have like chill time too. Because we it's not often that we get time alone from the kids. And now with this new baby, we're going to have even less time alone. We did get our taxes done like two days ago. So that's all done. Trying to get as much finished as I can before this baby comes. I've like finished the Easter baskets for the kids. That's all ready to go. I'm working on Grayson's birthday party right now. He wants a PJ mask themed birthday party. It's a kid show. Look it up if you don't know what it is. So I'm working on the invitations right now and I need to order like a cake and stuff like that. So I'm trying to get as much done as I can before baby girl comes because when she's here, it's just gonna be a lot harder to do anything because I'll have three kids or even if Grayson's at preschool, then I'll still have two kids. So it's gonna be a little chaotic. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but we're gonna figure it out. So anyway, I am rambling, but I will pull the camera out later today maybe when we go on a walk or something but i just want to keep you guys updated our life is always busy always something going on and just kind of waiting for baby girl to make her appearance i've been feeling braxton hicks here and there but like nothing consistent lots of pelvis pressure as well so i'm hoping she's in position I'm hoping she's getting ready because I'm ready. <laughs> Apparently, sleeping under rugs is comfy. Gray started it and then Porter wanted to do it too. Good morning. I tired. Oh, you're tired? Are you going to go back to bed? Oh my goodness. You guys are silly. It's gotta be so dirty. Okay, so it's later in the day. We decided to just kind of stay home and I built the boys' playhouse. We used to have this at our old house, took it apart to move it here, and then winter came so we never built it. And so I've been wanting to build this for a while. Didn't know if I could do it by myself, but I did. Grayson helped me. It actually wasn't that bad to build. And sorry, it's a little windy today, but it's 70, so it feels really nice. So yeah, there's our house, our playhouse. In the summer, as you guys have seen in my previous vlogs, I like to let the boys paint the house and then we spray it with the water sprayer and they love it. So I thought I'd put it in the far back and then that way when Anthony needs to mow, he can just move it a little further back into this mulch area where he doesn't mow. Of course, our grass is still like dead, so we're not mowing anytime soon, but it will come. So they're loving it. <laughs> I think my mom got this for the boys for like Grayson's birthday one year or something off of Amazon. It's like one of those play school ones. I really want to eventually get like a play set or a trampoline and kind of put it maybe like in that back corner over there, but those cost money. So we're going to do with what we have. Of course, once it gets warmer out, I'll bring out the water table and we've got like the splash pad and the blow up pool. So I'll have all that stuff too. So it'll be more summer fun uh, once it gets a little warmer out. But Playhouse is a great start and good for me to get done while I don't have three kids. <laughs> it was a lot easier with just two. Grayson had preschool today. How was preschool? Good. Yeah, what'd you do? I, I went about the letter V. You learned about the letter V? What starts with V? Van. Van? Mm -hmm. Good. And vehicle. And vehicle. You say hi, Porter. Hi. 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 Also, we did something else really big today. I was sound here. No, only mommy does that. Mm. We changed out Grayson's car seat. Mm. So Grayson is big enough now that he can sit in a booster seat. Oh yay! I think in Ohio they have to stay in some kind of booster seat till seven. So he's got 
what two about two more years of, of booster seats so i didn't realize that you can change your kid to a booster seat starting at four grayson's been in like the five point harness like big honking car seat this whole time but eventually i was gonna have to kick him out because um, once the baby outgrows the infant car seat, then she's going to need a regular car seat. And I didn't want to have to buy three. So thankfully, I moved Grace into a booster. Porter's still in his big five-point harness car seat for a while. And then baby girl, once she gets too big for the infant car seat, which I need to put in my car, I'm going to do that this weekend, she will get Grayson's old car seat. So <laughs> it works really well, thankfully. And we don't have to buy another car seat. Well, we had to buy the booster. But that was like 20 bucks compared to a big, huge car seat, which costs like 200 bucks. Okay, I'll help you. Porter shoot fell off, so I gotta help him. But anyway, that's, that's about it for today. I'm about to go inside and make dinner. It's bath night. They've both been playing in the mulch. The ground is all wet from all the rain. So we need to wash off and eat dinner. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> but the boys are loving outside. How's am I? But don't worry because tomorrow it's going to be 46. <laughs> Today's 70, tomorrow's 46. And it's not supposed to get warm. It's supposed to just rain and stay cold. So anyway, I think that might be it for this vlog. It was a lot of me talking. So I feel like a lot of my vlogs have been that lately. So sorry about that. If you don't like that. <laughs> but it's easier to just... I don't know, talk to you guys. So, anyway, I think I'll close it out. I'm gonna go make dinner and I uh, will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Say again. Bye. Uh -oh, Say bye. Oh, his other shoe came off. <laughs> I want you to turn it away.